Hey everybody, why I'm making this video today is we're going to talk about the Lost World Jurassic Park. Well, more specifically, the San Diego incident and my thoughts about it. Yes, this, the, the, one, the Jurassic Park film franchise is my favorite. The San Diego incident really showed the proof of what could happen if dinosaurs were really on the mainland. And as we know, two T-Rexes an adult and a juvenile were in the incident, just that. But I wanted to tell you guys this. As we know, in the beginning of the movie, the, the dino hunters have captured, had captured two triceratopses, an adult and juvenile, two stegosaurs, an adult and juvenile, one parasaurolophus, one, two, two gallimimuses, two juvenile pachycephalosauruses, eight comsognathuses, this is, and that was, and that was it. It, uh, and yes, they got released back into the wild. But what if they never got released into the wild? Like as we know, Jurassic Park San Diego had was supposed to have eight species, and there we only had seven species captured. And the eighth species was going to be a brachiosaur, and they never had the chance to capture one brachiosaur because of the sabotage. So I want you to believe. And and how how the the boat crew die? Well, my theory is a pack of raptors got on the boat and killed the boat crew, right when it was going off to the bay, and then they got off before it could get too far from the land. But guys, I want you to imagine this. This is something I've been thinking about since I saw it. What if the two triceratopses, adult and juvenile, the two stegosaurs, adult and juvenile? The one Parasaurolophus adult, the two adult Gallimimuses, the two juvenile well, uh, Pachycephalosaurs, the eight grown his, and the two Tyrannosaurs, adult and juvenile, along with if they ever caught one Brachiosaur, went straight, went straight there went, got to San Diego, and ended up, and escaped. Can, imagine the San Diego incident then. Uh, can you imagine, I've got a whole scene of how Ian and Sarah would like to lure all the dinosaurs back on. And plus, guys, think of this. What if the raptor pack that killed the crew never got off the boat and went straight and just stayed there till they got to San Diego? Imagine the incident now. No, and in my scene, of full, but I my whole scene is just the two triceratopses, the two stegosaurs, the one parasaur, the two galleys, the the two upakis, the eight compies, and just the two rexes, not counting brachiosaur or velociraptor because those were never captured. But guys, can you guys give me feedback on how do you think what the San Diego incident would have looked like if if uh, the two the two uh, uh, Triceratopses, adult and juvenile. The two Stegosaurs, adult and juvenile. The two T-Rexes, adult and juvenile. The grown, one, the, the only Parasaurolophus. The two young Pachycephalosaurs. Two Gallimimuses, eight and eight Compies. He's getting, uh, uh, being sent to San Diego and they escape the boat. Imagine the San Diego incident now. And you can even add, what if also one Brachiosaurus and two Velocir and the pack of raptors were with them on the boat during that time? Aim, hey, I'm like if if the if Bra if one Brachiosaur was captured and the raptor pack never left the boat, imagine the San Diego incident then. And if you want, and I've even made comments on it. Uh, just look up on YouTube the Lost World Jurassic Park the San Diego disaster, and you'll see many videos that I've commented on. Give me feedback on this video and on those videos. Give me your thoughts on what the San Diego incident would be like if all those dinosaurs went were in that city. This is the Theorizer More, giving you a new theory. Peace.